just like it is, and there's a road crossing. So every time a plane lands, they have to put down the the barrier to stop uh, the cars crossing. Obviously, you cannot have a plane landing. Morocco is about 15 kilometers uh, that direction. Okay. As you can see, we are quite small there. Eh? They're more like a pyramid when you look. Eh? It's all in a in a in a ramp. Especially the old town, it's all walk, have to walk up. You know? Outside here. Most of it that you're seeing here, this used to be the ocean, okay? So, uh, most, no, all that you see outside of the walls yeah. has been dried up to the sea. Yeah. So you come back, I don't know, it goes all the way to the top of the rock, protecting all the southern side. Also here you'll see uh, Gibraltar's a bit history, you know, the mixture of both, that wall built by the Spanish. But over here you'll see you have Trafalgar Bar. That's because, that's the Trafalgar Cemetery over there. You know the Trafalgar Cemetery, the Battle of Trafalgar? It's so actually a couple of people buried there that died in the battle. Nah, <laughs> Six minutes both ways. Yeah. This is the fastest way to go. The thing that the top of the rock is a nature reserve, you know? So you've got to like pay to go up there. But here, Obama, you get queues. Oof. The fastest way, because they made the mistake of walking up, oof. it's quite a walk. Because, uh, you know, look small, Gibraltar, it's, uh, you know, Look small, but when you, especially in summer, you know, with the sun hitting, it was a big mistake. <laughs> now here to the left, you see the Alameda Gardens, botanical gardens. Last major military job. Then here was the Falkland Wars, you know, they brought in a ship called Uganda, <coughs> who was converted into a hospital ship just three days. This is like, uh, and down there you have Rosha. Now this is where the walls end. See the walls, they finish here. I showed you, they start at casements, protecting all the northern side of the road. <laughs> like I said, about three, four kilometers. Ends here because this is a natural protection. You see, there's a cliff. It's a tunnel which was done much later, World War II, most probably. Gibraltar has uh, 50 kilometers of tunnels inside. There's more roads inside the rock than outside. Huh? Now this is one of the smallest tunnels in Gibraltar. <laughs> yeah. Be careful here, please. Don't. Mind your heads. Mind your head. No, no. Like I said, over 50 kilometers of tunnels inside of the rock. Huh? Most of them are interconnected. The vast majority were built during World War II. Although the first ones were back in the 1700s, 1800s, you know? And that's basically to defend Gibraltar, as you can imagine. Gibraltar has always been like Spain, France, England, everybody trying to capture it. So there's always been a lot of fighting here. So the first tunnels were done in the 1700s. Usually on a clear day we would see Morocco there, but it's cloudy. But believe me, you see Sibel Moussa, Morocco over there is about 15 kilometers away. Weather's basically. Today yeah. the Levanta comes from the Mediterranean. You see very visibility drops, humidity. Then we've got uh, Poniente, we call it, which comes from the west. Okay, and that tends to be a more like dry, crispy air. It's a visibility, very high visibility. The desalination plant, the military. That's why it's built up there. Normally, these are built at sea level. No need to pump the water up. This is a much longer tunnel. Okay, this is a, these tunnels were built in the 1960s. It's like the last tunnels built in Europe. The idea of this tunnel was to have like good roads all the way around the road. You see how wide this road is? The widest in Gibraltar, really, and we are inside the tunnel. There's another tunnel on the other side, more or less the same. This mosque was built by King Fahad of Saudi Arabia back in 97. I know this is summer for you. Yeah. For us this is winter, you know, this is like the worst weather you and this year, depending on the years, you know, the, you get like more rough weather. This year, I don't know why it's been very, it has been very rough weather, you know? And the problem when the wind comes from the area, even though it's not windy, because it's protected by the rock, the problem you have is a swell. You know, the swell of the ocean goes up, so, you know, you've got ships alongside, they will break. Now, here to the right, you see the sign I was talking about, look, beware of the mountains. Especially in the mornings, because they, so they sleep in different areas and they like go up and down. Up there you have the cave, so they usually like, you know, the same 
The invader that are the British brought them, we don't really know. We do know how the British are the first ones to kind of uh, keep records of the monkeys, okay? To keep track of how many monkeys, etc. There's about 250 that uh, tend to be divided in groups, packs, you know, about 20, 30 strong each group. And they brought 10 females from Morocco to keep the numbers up, eh, for the morale of the troops, which is one of them. And ever since, the military used to have like two or three people taking extra care of the monkeys, you know, making sure and all these seasons. Eh? They even have a budget. They even have like a budget, the military, nuts and berries for the monkeys. Once the military left in the early 90s, the government have a department that take extra care. This is the first place, they really, the origin, among eight, ten. At the beginning, they were only here, but now there are so many of them. You see how good? He doesn't feel like walking, so he'll, <coughs> he'll jump now down there. He look, he's still, he's still on the bus now. He'll jump down here. Okay, this is gonna be a next stop. Yeah, we have some monkeys, you have a balcony here, you see like the whole of Gibraltar, from here.
any of the houses you see, like the ones here to the left, this one here, these are much older, these are like military. This is our summer, like this is our winter, this is the coldest it can be. And more than the temperature, it's the wind, you know, and stuff like that. The temperature will never go down. Inside they have hospitals, you name it. Huh? Inside the rock. Now, what happens that with all the debris, when you do tunnels, you get out all the rock. That's what they used to do the round. It used to be two-way road, not so many years ago, pass up and down. Now they've done like a small road, but vamos, still it's the same. Very narrow roads here. This all is inside, this is the old town, inside the wall, you see? Everything is in a ramp, old buildings, alleyways. Once you get out of the wall, it's like more normal, right? flat, high-rise buildings. 